Get the upper hand on your competition with scuff controllers. Use code OGXRACE to get 5% off your entire order. Yo guys, what's up, it's X-Series, welcome back to another Fortnite video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be discussing a couple of things. The first one, probably the biggest one, is going to be a starter pack, the one that everyone has seen with the Rogue Soldier. Well, that one is going to be coming here on Tuesday, so let's go ahead and talk about that, and then after that, we're going to be talking about a concept that we got for customization of weapons in Fortnite, which I think is going to be really cool, and maybe something that Epic Games actually looks into. So, let's go ahead and jump into this. Now, the first bit of information was actually just about the Rogue Pack, which I think a lot of us have heard about and it is just it's basically the starter pack it's $4.99 so anyone can buy it pretty much like five bucks I think pretty much anyone has it and you get a bunch of stuff from it so basically you get 600 V bucks you get the rogue agent outfit and you also get the catalyst back bling so you get 600 V bucks which is already the equivalent of around six bucks which is already worth it for that and then you also have the uh, obviously the rogue soldier or rogue agent outfit which to me just looks like a power ranger i'm just gonna be running with this guy all the time now i want to talk about this because i was talking about this on twitter i tweeted out about this which if you guys don't follow me on twitter make sure you guys follow me on twitter it's at ogx but basically I was talking about how I really wanted this starter pack to do really well for Epic Games because if it does well, I want them to see that if they have a lower price point on their customization stuff, on their skins, on just pickaxes, pretty much everything, all the customization, if they had a lower price, I really feel like they would make way more money. I think a lot more people would be buying the starter packs and then after that I had a few people telling me, well, you know, what's the point of buying it if everyone has it? Like there's no uniqueness, there's no value to it. And I had to basically think about that and I said, well, I don't really care about value. Like there's no RNG system in Fortnite. So it's not like you're spinning a wheel to hopefully get this skin. So there's not like the super value attached to it. If I buy it, that's it. It's diminishing returns. Whereas if there's like a weapon in CSGO or a variant or whatever that I get and you know as more time passes it's less likely to get that one it becomes more expensive and I can sell it. There is no selling system or trading system in Fortnite so it's, I don't really care about value. If I buy this starter pack which I think a lot of people are going to buy it's probably going to be a lot of people using this in the lobbies that I go into. Is it going to make it so that I feel like my skin is any less valuable? No, because I knew what I was getting for five bucks. It's a new skin that I'm going to get that I'm going to be rocking and wearing. You know, this kind of takes me back to the days of Call of Duty. And I, thinking specifically Call of Duty Ghosts, we used to have the packs that you would get for camels that you could buy. I believe it was like $1.99 for a pack. And I would buy them and I would use the camels and I would have a lot of fun with the camels until I was done with them and, and boom, whatever. And I see skins in the same length here for Fortnite. If they're five bucks, I'm going to buy them, I'm going to enjoy it. It doesn't matter to me if, you know, everyone is using them because I, at the end of the day, I have a new skin that I'm using that I'm enjoying. And then I can move on to the next one if there's another cheap one or or not. You know, it all really, really does depend. So let me know your thoughts on that. Do you guys think that if a you know skin is valued at 20 bucks, it's more rare? Do you enjoy it more that way? Or do you not really care? Because personally for me, I would rather have like eight to sixteen good cheap camels that anyone has as opposed to you know one or two of the super expensive 20 buck ones you know just kind of hanging out and like feeling like i'm special with that one i'd rather have honestly 8 to 16 that i can rock and change all the time so i want to talk about that honestly this is a really 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 good deal uh it's five bucks i would encourage some of you guys who don't who have the money who have an extra five bucks to get this guy i think it's gonna be pretty cool it's a cool skin honestly and it's like worth way more than you know what they're going to give you you know so definitely definitely in my opinion worth it it's coming tuesday this tuesday make sure you guys go to the store and get it if you guys are planning on getting it. if you're not totally cool but i'm excited for that guy hopefully it uh it kind of inspires epic games to look at this and say yo maybe we should release other skins for cheaper so that we can make more money and people can be happy rocking new skin so that's just my opinion all right so the next thing i wanted to talk about was a weapon customization concept that someone came up with on reddit and i'll show you guys the image specifically so you guys can see it but it's really 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 cool so a reddit user by the name of graphic hunters brought to life an interest concept regarding customization of weapons which many players have been asking for now, players will be able to customize weapons to how they want in the lobby by adding skins, emblems, and different effects. There would be a couple of different issues that would need to be addressed if Epic considered adding weapon customization to Fortnite Battle Royale. 
When weapons are found by players, would they see the standard weapon or would the customized version? Would the customized weapon only show when it has been equipped? Would the customization to the weapon stay when it was dropped or would the weapon change back to the standard form? If weapons do keep their customization when it is dropped, would other players that pick up the weapon have their customization or would the previous player customization stay? This concept has many different factors to it that would be interesting to see how this could be incorporated into Fortnite Battle Royale. What do you think about this concept? How would you like to see it incorporated into the game? So pretty much that's it. This is an article from Fortnite Insider where they covered this. Honestly, it looks really freaking cool. You can imagine if you had levels to your weapons that you could level up. So if you use a scar occasionally, because, you know, they're hard to find and you level it up, you can put your skin on it. You can put an emblem, you can put an effect, a whole bunch of different things to it. And I honestly think this would be really, really cool, especially if you have different rarities to it. You know, so if you have your gold camo scar and then you have your, you know, legendary scar, then you can use different skins on them and you can pick them up. Now, it does add a whole, like they were saying, a uh, problem thing to it where you got to consider, you know, well, what happens if I drop it and someone picks it up? Do they see my customization or my loadout? Or, do, or does their loadout immediately drop onto it? So we'll definitely see. This would also be a really great way for Epic to make even more money because, you know, they would be selling camo packs that you could use on weapons. And, you know, I think it's a it's a win-win situation. So we'll definitely see. But I wanted to talk to you guys about this concept because I thought it was really, really cool. I figured why not cover it? Maybe Epic Games sees this video or that Reddit post and they're like, yo, maybe maybe we'll do it. So we'll definitely, definitely see. Thank you, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Tell me what you guys think about the starter pack and also this customization concept that Graphics Hunter came up with on Reddit. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on the video. It really, really does sub out and it is super appreciated. And if you are new to the channel, if you want to see even more videos like these, I try to cover the latest, greatest rumors, leaks, news, and more for Fortnite and Call of Duty. So if you enjoy any of that, make sure you guys do subscribe and turn on notifications by slapping that bell icon next to the sub button so you don't miss a single upload here on the future. If you want to support the channel directly, you can do so by joining my sponsor squad. You get access to early videos, exclusive content, and a special badge that shows up in all of my live streams and in the comment sections of all my videos. Check that out if you're willing and able to. And again, like I said, follow me on Twitter. I'm always on there, at OGXrays. Give me a follow. Talk to me over there. Say what's up. And I also do have a gaming a second channel in case you want to see even more content from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.